Might be the lord of the kaiju rising Throw it right back when I fight you lightning Breaking all the plans when I'm fusing with the lads Yeah, mega kaiju breaking right through It's frightening Ooh, Mark Japan on the bomb Ooh, How these kids crying to their moms Alien heading straight to Fuji when I roll up Scary and eating every human fruit roll up Only four from the three you ain't messing with Welcome to another episode of Kaiju Theater with Hobbs Horror. We're reviewing Gamera number three. That's right, number three. Attack of the Iris. Excuse me, Revenge of the Iris. It is a 1999 film, an hour and 48 minutes long. It's a seven point three on IMDb and Asagi returns for this one as well that's right Steven Seagal's daughter is becoming like the final girl of the Gamera trilogy we follow a young girl named Miyana whose family unfortunately was killed by Gamera during one of the rampaging fights three years ago or if not farther and this is three years after Attack of the Legion, and basically she has been adopted, and Iana, she goes to like this hidden place in the forest that has like this egg in it, and inside this egg there is a creature, a monster, that also has some hidden vendetta against Gamera. Now, Gamera course people still feel is a threat and they're finding more and more camera situations to be a threat to humanity so they're really trying to figure out one of the questions was why is Japan keep being attacked by monsters well this girl Yanya wants to get revenge and of course there are mediators there you know with Asagi and everybody that are trying to stop her. And the monster that she is gotten into this little cave and brought out is called an Iris. And she gets it at a young age, but she has to now take care of Iris. And then Iris becomes a huge demon monster who wants to also kill Gamera get revenge like she so they have this special bond to the point and we're midway through the film they have this session where it like molds with her and she becomes part of like this egg and she is discovered by a young boy who pulled out and things start to happen and we now have attacks starting to happen now there are many many flying animals that are gyoses in the film Gauss's in the film, you have Iris now fighting with Gamera. And let's get to my thoughts on the film because I could ramble all day about this one. So basically, I loved this movie. This is definitely the best, in my opinion, the best of the franchise. It's close though, man. It's a close with Guardian of the Universe. It's it's a it's a very close tie between the two. I'd have to say. You know what, no, Guardian of the Universe edges this one out slightly, but this is a second. Just the fight scenes alone, uh, the acting, the the darker image, the darker tone of this film. It seems like they get darker and darker. You know, the, the way that Ayana was trying to basically get revenge, once revenge on Gamera, it was very dark in times, almost like she was becoming another version of a Nancy Downs, you know, that belonged in a psychi psychiatric home, and, like, she's just not understanding that what she's doing is wrong, and nobody seems to understand that Gamera is not out there to hurt people. <laughs> it's like, you know, we're 12 films deep here, and no one seems to think that Gamera is not there to help him, even though he saves the day practically in every film. And so, yeah, so this epic battle starts to happen, and there's all these different things that are cultivating... The military is not able to stop them at all, though they try, but, you know, uh, there's also these animals that are leashed in the air, these birds that are like gals. Again, this is three years after 
Attack of the Legion, and the effects were just phenomenal. You could tell they put everything that they possibly had into this movie. Uh, the scenes with the fire were ridiculous. It was almost like being in hell. Just really, really well shot. Um, well, well written, too. I, mean, I never would have thought they would have had a scene like this where they would have had a kid want to get revenge on Gamera, which was really, really interesting. And... Overall, this was the most updated camera look and the best camera look. Uh, very, very much older, wiser, very much more badass. If I can say that, you know, I just, I love these movies. I eventually will get that huge box set at some point when funds permit, but I only have one more to go. Uh, but this, this movie was great. 4.5 out of 5 on the Boglin scale. The action was there. You could tell the effects are good. You could tell that Die Productions definitely put a lot into this. I don't know the budget on this, but they definitely worked hard on this film. They just get better and better, these films. And again, I just... Uh, I'm so glad I got into these. This has been such a real treat for me to have reviewed 12 of these now. Or is this the 11th? I think this might be the 11th, but these are so good. And I'm telling you, looking forward to the final one. And uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on Gamera. Just the whole trilogy or your favorites. Some of your most memorable moments. And I'm not for sure when I'll get to the last film. I do another movie I have to review for MVD soon. But I will get to the last Gamera at some point. Catch up with you later. Thanks for watching. This is Hobbs. Peace. This is Halloween. What's for the pandemic, I was masked up like Halloween With a big bag on me looking like I trick or treat I'm lit like Christmas Eve, rolling up a Christmas tree Say he won't smoke to his head, he can out of freeze What's for the pandemic, I was masked up like Halloween With a big bag on me looking like I trick or treat I'm lit like Christmas Eve, rolling up a Christmas tree Say he won't smoke to his head, he can out of freeze Big bag, big money, let that pay talk I'm riding in a foreign